quick video about shame and shaming. I will say that I'm not aware of any energetic interchange that's more powerful in collapsing the energy body than shame. I'm not aware of anything else. And if you wrap that in with a little bit of guilt, it's even more intense. And I'm going to give some quotes from, you know, beautiful being of light who's actually from right here, just a couple hours from me in North Carolina, though he lives way up in Washington state now, just uh, almost into Canada. So, uh, and it's of course an amazing being called named Tom Kenyon. Uh, and this isn't necessarily his quote, actually. This is from he and Judy Sion's book, The Magdalene Manuscript, which, I, which I've been recommending forever to people. And this is a channeling, a download of Magdalene herself. And, <clears throat> excuse me, a and I want to be able to sort of preface this quote with a little bit first. I find it very puzzling and intriguing lately, especially. I find the shaming, the shaming of women who are sexually expressive. And let me put it this way. It's not even women that are sexually expressive. It's the feminine being sexually expressive or even just expressive. That means a flamboyantly gay man who's very expressive, Ex expressive, that's a new word, or uh, someone who is expressive in their sexuality. And I don't mean raunchy, but what I'm saying is has that expression. There's so much shaming going on. And it's, it's very, very unfortunate. It's not just happening by men, it's happening by women against the feminine as well. Uh, the only reason you're feeling those mechanisms of, of wanting to shame others is because you're not allowing it to express within yourself, I love you so dearly. But here's a quote from the Magdalene manuscript. Now this is Magdalene talking. This was brought down by Judy, Cyan. The central key in this journey is the strengthening of the Ka. In Aramaic, that's Haikla. It's what Yeshua called the temple, the energy body. Remember, in Egyptian, we have Mer, Ka, Ba. Through ecstatic states of consciousness, whether self-generated or created through the ecstasy, ecstasy of sex does not inherently matter. The Ka is nurtured and potentized by ecstatic states regardless of their source. Ooh, that turns some religious people on their head. On the contrary, shame is a poison to the Ka body, to the energy body, a toxic element that decreases its vitality and potency. I, an initiate of Isis, find it tragic that the church has shamed women and men around their sexual natures and closed a door on one of the most direct paths to God realization. Think about that, feel it out. Whatever you do along this path, my advice is to free yourself of all shame. Search out the catacombs of your own mind and heart. Seek out the dark places in yourself where shame resides and remove it. In Aramaic, that's forgiveness, shpuk. And what shpuk means is to remove the root of my suffering. Literal translation is cancel is to drop something and walk away from it, to literally remove it. Find every opportunity to create ecstasy, for it strengthens you and potentizes the Ka. May the obstacles to your flight be few and the blessings along your journey be many. Aho. Oh.